Good morning, everyone. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. Joining you this Tuesday uh, to show you something really exciting. It is an exciting day here at Stampin' Up! because Stampin' Up!'s new um, August through December 2020 mini catalog is now live formerly the holiday catalog. It's filled with an array of brand new products for your paper crafting needs for everything from Halloween, fall, winter, Christmas, and even into Valentine's Day. So it's an awesome catalog. Uh, hi Linda and hi Deb, thanks for joining me this morning. I on my calendar and last week I told you that I was going to share a gift card holder but when I realized that my Facebook live would coincide with the launch of the new catalog I thought well I'll just make something with the brand new um, products from the brand new catalog so and that's what I'm going to do today is using the little treats bundle that is kind of way back in the catalog almost on the last page here um, on page 70 so for um, $53 the bundle is a, a, a die a set of die cuts um, what I really like about the die cut is it takes a six by six sheet of cardstock to make the die cut. And then it has a huge variety of, uh, there's tags and other images. There's, we have Halloween, there's a Santa hat, we have Christmas, and even like a wedding ring for weddings. Um, that you, if you wanted to make a treat packet for that. Good morning, Adrian. So once that you have your six by six sheet of cardstock and cut out, this is what the treat packet um, design looks like. And it folds up into something that looks just like that. And I'll admit to you something at the very end of the video. Uh, so, um, sometimes um, our minds think way differently than than everybody else's. So anyway, so I did use my six by six um, sh Knight of Navy um, cardstock and cut that out. Now the benefit of this is that it just takes that one sheet of paper to make that cut and it says no adhesive required so cut and fold so um that's a really super um a super feature of that so i'm just going to fold along the the cuts or the scores and um you'll see little notches in the uh In the box so just gently put the notch in the box in the hole in the notch in the hole and you have put your box together uh, oh my gosh it can't be much easier than that and then you just tie your ribbon together here to hold it together so can you imagine all the possibilities for decorating this treat box um, I chose the a little treat for someone sweet. Let me show you the stamp set. The stamp set is called Little Treats, and it's called the Little Treats Bundle. And at uh, when you get both of them, it's a ten percent discount at fifty three dollars. So you have a Christmas, especially for you. Happy Halloween, a spider, birthday wishes, um, candies, ornaments, flowers. A thank you for coming and the rings a present so this to me could be a year-round all occasion go to treat packet and you I think you'll get your money's worth out of this uh, all year long all you have to do is change the the card stock and the sentiment and you would be able to um, 
bless people with treats all year long or with lots of Ghirardelli chocolate. So what I used was the uh, Playful Patterns Designer Series paper and along with the Purple Posy cardstock, Knight of Navy ink, and um, the vellum. So I did, I, I have two pieces of the Playful Patterns cardstock, super fun with the Knight of Navy and the Purple Posy and Coastal Cabana. Uh, and then I cut with one of the tags a little bit of that uh, from the vellum cardstock and then my purple posy tag and that comes just from the um, from the stamp set so I'm going to ink that up a little treat for someone sweet and one of the fun things I love to do for every class I have or if I Stop into a networking meeting, and I love to give everyone a treat packet. So we have that stamped. I'm going to just grab my um, glue dots here on, add uh, some glue dots to my designer series paper, and affix that to the front of my box, or the back of the box, it could be either. And then I will do the other side. Yes, I could use any kind of adhesive. You could use glue. You could use um, our new st stamp and seal. But for some reason, I just really, really love glue dots. And I know that they're going to stick. So I have that cut to fit. And I'll also use my glue dots to attach the, the vellum the vellum piece. I just press the paper that I want to the glue dot. Find the middle. Press that in there. And then use our Stampin' Dimensionals to pop up the, it's the a little treat for someone sweet. And really, that's as easy as it is to create um, to create that treat packet. Then what I'm going to do is use this polka dot tool ribbon and close up the package. I can go back and put some chocolate in it later. I did find some, at Sam's Club the other day some awesome white chocolate filled caramel Ghirardellis and I'm um, trying to hide those so that I don't eat the entire package. Um, and then you, you just tie a knot and you've got your um, you've got your treat packet all ready to go. So very, um, very simple, very fun, very easy to put together. And just by changing the designer series paper and the tags, you can make very different um, treat packets from that. I'm also looking forward to doing different variations of the treat packet. There are lots of uh, samples in the catalog, but I did promise, hi Tammy, how are you? I did promise I was going to show you what I did originally with this treat packet. I'm um, just kind of, I laugh a little bit to myself because that would seem the most logical way for it to go together. However, um, when I first did this, I had something else in mind. Um, and, it, and it works well too. So I, uh, that's what I love about Stampin' Up! is that there is no wrong answer in Stampin' Up! and your creative projects. So if you can tell, I put my box together a little bit different way and designed this front. I'll show you what I did. Um, again, using my, it's all cut, it's all scored. So I put my flaps in the front because I was thinking well what if I just wanted a freestanding box and I didn't want to um, so I made I made my first box like that so then I decorated I decorated the front and so it turned out just just like that and then I made a color um, another one in Coastal Cabana um, so uh, there are no wrong answers. So it depends on which way, which way you like it because that will stand up on its own. Whereas the other fold 
you'll need to use some ribbon to tie it together. So I had a little laugh at myself last night because I, I pulled a bunch of team members and said, now how would you put this together and realize that um, I just had a little bit of a different idea. So you can just tell how fun that is in, in different colors. Um, this is the Little Treats bundle found in the Stampin' Up's new August through December 2020 mini catalog available for ordering today. And like I said at the beginning, it's full of just a, really some fun brand new products. Well, looking through here, you might also recognize some products from last year. We did, Stampin' Up! did carry over some very popular products like the Moose stamp set and the Moose punch as well as the Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper and its um, ornament punch as well as the Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper. So thank you all for joining me for this short, quick little video on how to make this super cute little treat packet. Next week, Tuesday, I'll come back as promised and I will um, do a video or a Facebook Live with the uh, making a gift card holder. You can visit me online at kimplayswithpaper.com and I will have this video a little bit later today also as a YouTube if you want to watch the replay. Another exciting thing happening today is that Stampin' Up! launched a new version of its online store enhancing the shopping experience and you can get there by going to kimquady.stampinup.net. So have an awesome Tuesday, everyone, and take care. Let me know if you have any questions uh, that I can help you with, and happy creating, and have a great Tuesday. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.